We have to get this out before the alcohol hits you. No, it's hit. Oh, it hit already? Shut up. Damn it. It's, this glass is frosty. Ahoy there, and welcome to the Long Gunner Tavern for another episode of Drinks Worth Running For. I'm your host, Captain Travis, and today we're going to be looking at one of the most loved tiki cocktails of all time. It's the Mai Tai. The Mai Tai was invented in 1944 by Victor J. Bergeron, a man better known as Trader Vic. And when it was invented, it became so popular that it's rumored to have depleted the world's rum supplies. Why is the rum always gone? The success of the Mai Tai didn't come without its own controversies though. The drink's origin was called into question when Don Beach, aka Don the Beachcomber, claimed that Vic's Mai Tai was actually based on his 1933 cocktail, the QB Cooler. Cooler. Don said that back before Vic had his own restaurant, he would frequent Don the Beachcomber's. And he became a huge fan of the QB Cooler's flavor profile. So he just took it, allegedly. Obviously, Vic didn't like this claim, and in his 1978 book, Trader Vic's Bartender's Guide, he refutes it by saying, Anyone who says I didn't create this drink is a dirty stinker! And if you look at the two side by side, they really don't have much in common. The QB Cooler actually has twice the ingredients that the Mai Tai has. So, let's only use what's necessary for this, the original Mai Tai. Let's start out with three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, Half an ounce of dry carousel. Let's do a quarter ounce of orgeau. A quarter ounce of Demerara simple syrup. I made this myself with two parts Demerara sugar and one part water. And then because this drink is supposed to accentuate already good Jamaican rum, I stepped it up with two ounces of Appleton 12 year. We're gonna give that a shake. And then what we're gonna do is actually just pour that straight into a glass. Top it off with a little more crushed ice. And then to garnish it, we're gonna actually use the spent lime to make a little island and then a sprig of mint to represent a palm tree. And that's the original Mai Tai. <sighs> Ooh, it's good. The rum is definitely the spotlight. Syrup makes it nice and sweet. It has a good orange flavor with the carousel. Very well balanced. That's tasty. I would definitely sip on it more than <laughs> more than um, chugging it, but it's, it's what I do. In the 1950s, after Vic's restaurant chain blew up, Madsen Steamship Lines, the company that's credited with making Hawaii the tourist destination that it is today, called upon the trader in order to help them develop a couple cocktail recipes for some of their island properties. One of those properties was the Royal Hawaiian Resort in Waikiki. The resort wanted a Mai Tai, but in order to separate it from the original while also making it a sweeter, more tropical treat for the masses, Vic decided to take the recipe and adjust it, adding fresh juice to the seaside sipper. This is when the Mai Tai really took off, and this version became the staple tropical cocktail. It got so popular that it was featured in Elvis Presley's 1961 film, Blue Hawaii. And in the 1970s, President Nixon actually made it the official cocktail of his presidency. So, let's make a version of the Mai Tai that might be a little bit closer to a tourist traps recipe. We're gonna start out with one ounce of pineapple juice, one ounce of orange juice, half an ounce of orgeau, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, and an ounce and a half of light rum. We're gonna give that a shake. Mm. 
Pour that into a tourist trap type of glass. Then we're gonna float about a half an ounce of dark rum. I'm using an overproof for fun. Then just top it off with a fun garnish and a straw. And there you have a tourist trap version of the Mai Tai. Oh God. Oh. Mm. Chugging it through a straw, you get the, the strong stuff on top. It does not finish well, but it does taste good. If you don't want to feel fat when you're on the beach, it's very light and fun. I would stir it next time. The bottom of it is just straight rum, which I mean, you might like. I would drink a lot of these and get very drunk. And then I would throw stuff at children. So here we have a cocktail that has become a vacation staple all over the world and the classic version that inspired it. So whether you want something more traditional or fun, these are both drinks worth running for. Find merch like this and more at rumrunnersrunning.club. This ain't Gary. We good? Cool. It's good enough.